guitar players, we're always chasing that one new piece of gear or that one magic accessory that's going to make us play and sound better. But a lot of the time, we don't consider guitar strings to be part of this picture. But guitar strings can make a huge difference in how we sound. Now, all of us have our favorite string brand and our favorite string gauge. And that goes without saying that we tend to use that exact set 99% of the time without giving any thought to changing. Now, comfort is obviously a big part of this, but guitar strings can play a huge impact on tone, especially for acoustic guitar players. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. We're going to be checking out eight different sets of guitar strings from Martin Guitars and hearing the difference they make to your guitar tone. So in my hand, I have eight different sets, all from Martin, and we're going to check out the tonal and feel differences for each of these sets in this video. All of these string sets are timestamped at the bottom, so if you want to check out any specific set, you can hit the relevant timestamp down below and go straight to it. Whenever we think about Martin guitars, we always go straight to their guitars. And after all, they have been building guitars since 1833. So there's nearly 200 years of guitar building history right there. Many of our favorite guitar heroes and many, many classic albums have been recorded with Martin guitars. So we've heard the sound of these guitars all through the history of popular music. But what a lot of people don't realize is Martin also makes strings. And they have made their own acoustic strings since 1970, and they're all made in-house by the Martin team. There's a very good reason why Martin make their own strings. The guys that build these guitars are so obsessive over the tone and the feel and the playability of every guitar they build that they wanted to design the perfect string to accompany their guitars. There's a huge range of strings in the Martin string catalog. You can check out the full range down below in the description where you can see everything they do. In this video, we're going to cover eight of the core styles, but obviously there's gauges and styles of string to suit every need. But basically, Martin are so obsessive about this that they've designed their own strings. And each string has the tagline on the back. That's why we make our own. And that is why they make their own, because they really feel that these strings are the best fit for their guitars to bring the most out of the instrument. Now, of course, just because these are Martin guitars strings, you don't have to only put them on Martin guitars. Whatever guitar you play, you can use these strings with that guitar. Now, Martin, as I said, are very obsessive about the tone and feel. So each set of strings that they make has been designed with a very specific feel and tonal characteristic in mind. So whatever style of music or whatever style of guitar you play, there's going to be a set of strings in the Martin string catalog that's going to suit what you need. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the eight different sets of Martin strings in my hand here, hearing how they all sound, and I'm going to be talking about who they might be suitable for based on your tonal and feel needs. So we're going to be checking out eight different sets. As I said, we've got the Martin Originals. Now, all the strings in this video are going to be the same gauge. So I'm going for a 13 to 56 gauge. There's one set in this range that is not that gauge because it's only available in an 11.5 gauge. All the other strings are going to be 13 to 56. So we're looking at the originals. These are an 8020 bronze set. Just think of these as your standard Martin strings. Then we're going for the authentic acoustic superior performance set, which are also an 8020 bronze mix. Then the superior performance phosphor bronze set. Then we're going to check out the authentic acoustic Marquis silked phosphor bronze. Then the lifespan 2.0 treated phosphor bronze set. Then we're going to be checking out the flexible core phosphor bronze. We're also going to be checking out the silk and steel set. Now this is the one set that is not a 13 to 56. These are only available in 11.5 to 47. And finally, the retro acoustic. These are the ones with a Manel wrap. Pretty much that 1960s and 70s acoustic sound that we're also familiar with. These are a nickel set. And then guitar wise, if we're testing out Martin strings, it would be rude not to test them out on a Martin guitar. So I'm going to be using this incredible Martin D18 for this video. The guys at Martin very kindly sent me this for a few days to play with and shoot this video. This is an incredible guitar and it's a pretty standard Martin. We've heard a D18 on so many records. So this should be a very, very good reference point for hearing these strings. Likewise, you're going to be hearing the guitar with two different microphones. I've got my Lewitt Audio LCT 440 condenser mic, which I'm going to be setting up in front of the guitar. So you will see this in some of the shots. And just out of shot, I've got my Rode NTG-1 
shotgun mic. I'm using that just to capture a little bit of the pick attack and a little bit of the room ambience. The two mics will be blended together after I shoot the video. As we go through the eight sets of strings we're going to talk about in this video, I'm going to be giving you a little bit of insight and background into each of the sets, talking to you about who and what that set of strings is good for, and you're going to hear them both strummed with a plectrum and finger style. Then at the end of this video, there's going to be a complete run of eight back-to-back -back clips of all the strings strummed and then all the strings played finger style as well. So just before we dig into hearing each of these string sets, I just want to let you guys know this is a sponsored video. So the guys at Martin and Westside Distribution have paid me to create this video. They've also provided me with that Martin D18 that I've shown you on loan and all of the strings that I'm going to be using in the video have also been provided by them. All the thoughts and opinions are my own. So the first set we're going to check out are the Martin Originals. These are an 80-20 bronze split and as I said I am using a 13 to 56 gauge string. They are available in other gauges. The Martin Originals are the strings that started it all for the brand 50 years ago. They're designed as a great daily player's string. They've got a nice rich low end and some real crisp present highs. Very balanced across the entire spectrum and great for all styles of music on all styles of guitar. Many people will already be familiar with these strings, if not by sound, but at least by sight, because these are ubiquitous in guitar stores across the world. You've probably seen this package at some point in your local guitar store. Next up, we're checking out the Authentic Acoustic Superior Performance SP set. These strings feature higher tensile strength and tin plated cores on all six strings. This gives you a more balanced tone across the entire frequency spectrum. These particular strings have a little bit more projection in the top end. You get a much faster response than standard strings, so they're a little bit snappier feeling. And also the tin plating and the higher tensile strength gives you some improvement in tuning stability. So if you're someone who's playing a lot, especially for a gigging musician, these strings are fantastic. The third set we're going to be checking out is the Authentic Acoustic Superior Performance SP Phosphor Bronze set. So with these being from the Superior Performance SP line, they're pretty much the same strings as the regular 8020 set. They have the same higher tensile strength and tin plated cores, which means you get the same balanced frequency response, the same speed response and the increased tuning stability, but the Phosphor Bronze is slightly darker sounding than the 8020 bronze. So these are great for players who want a slightly warmer acoustic sound. Once a set of phosphor bronze strings is settled in, it's about 80% of the brilliance and brightness as a 8020 set. So for the players who like a slightly darker acoustic sound, phosphor bronze strings are great. <laughs> Fourth set of strings we're going to check out is the Authentic Acoustic Marquis Silked Phosphor Bronze set. 
These are phosphor bronze strings at heart, but at the ball end of the string, they have a soft silk wrap. There are a couple of benefits to this, one being this actually reduces the wear on the contact point on the bridge. Usually on an acoustic guitar, when you push the bridge pin in, the string windings at the end can cut into your bridge. The silk wrap will minimize that impact. On any older acoustic guitars, where the bridge pin holes have widened through age and wear, the silk it will actually add some mass to the string, which will actually hold those pins in place a little tighter as well. The Marquis Silk set will give you that expected phosphor bronze sound, so they're a little darker than a regular 8020 set, but the added benefit here is that it's going to reduce the wear and tear on your guitar's bridge. This is especially useful, as I said, if you're someone who plays vintage guitars. You don't want to be wearing through that bridge with your strings. These strings will prevent that wear and tear. fifth set we're going to check out is the Authentic Acoustic Lifespan 2.0 Treated Set. These are engineered with a new patented anti-corrosion treatment only available in Martin strings. This new anti-corrosion treatment protects the wrap and the core of the string to increase the lifespan without compromising any of the tone or any of the feel. I'm going to be using this phosphor bronze set, but these are also available in an 8020 bronze mix. The phosphor bronze set will give you a slightly darker tone than the 8020 set. With these strings having the anti corrosion treatment, they're going to give you an extended lifespan. So, this is perfect for gigging musicians or touring musicians who want their strings to last that little bit longer. The lifespan two strings are also factory fitted to most Martin acoustics. So, if you've ever played a Martin acoustic out of the box, You've probably felt and experienced the lifespan two strings. The sixth set of strings we're going to check out is the Authentic Acoustic Flexible Cores. These are designed to reduce finger fatigue and allow you to do huge bends on your acoustic guitar. They're made with a thinner core wire from the Superior Performance range, but with a thicker external wrap. This means they deliver the same full balanced tone you expect from a thicker gauge string, but with the flexibility and playability of a thinner gauge string. This means they're great for players who either aren't used to heavy gauge strings or making the transition from electric to acoustic guitar. They're also great for players who want to play lead on acoustic guitar because you have that added flexibility. The other great thing about the flexible core range is it actually allows you to go up a gauge compared to what you're used to because of that added flexibility. These are also the strings that Tommy Emanuel uses. <laughs> The seventh set we're going to look at is the Authentic Acoustic Marquis Silked Silk and Steel set. 
So these strings are the only set that we're not going to be looking at in a 13 to 56 gauge. These are actually an 11.5 to 47 gauge. On the wound strings, they actually have a steel core with a silk wrap. So this is a little bit more akin to those strings you find on a classical guitar. So these are going to give you a much mellower, much softer and darker tone than a regular non-silk wrapped acoustic string. With these being a slightly lower gauge, there's also obviously less tension here. So these are great for players who don't want the full tension of a heavy 13 gauge set of strings. <laughs> final set we're going to check out is the retro acoustic set. These are a solid nickel and copper blend with a Manel wrap. These strings are actually great for reducing pick attacks. So if you like a more vintage acoustic sound, the retro acoustics are a fantastic set of strings. These really allow the natural tone of your acoustic guitar to shine. Many acoustic recordings from pre-1970 would have been done on Manel strings. And the Manel wrap is actually naturally corrosion resistant. So these strings, although they're not treated to be long life strings, the Manel wrap gives them that extra longevity. They're a very popular choice for Americana and bluegrass players, but they're also great for anyone who just wants a real clear, warm, natural sound from their acoustic guitar. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've talked about all eight sets and we've heard them all in isolation, now we need to compare them all side by side to figure out which one is right for you. So what you're going to hear now is two continuous loops. First of all, you're going to hear all eight sets of strings played strummed with a plectrum. Then you can hear all eight sets of strings played finger style. The two microphones I'm using are exactly the same ones. We've got the Rode NTG1 shotgun mic, which is just out of shot, and the Lewitt Audio LCT440 condenser mic, which you'll see in shot when I'm playing. The type of string I'm using in each example will pop up on the screen as you hear it.
there you go. There's an overview of a bunch of different Martin guitar strings. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I've talked about eight different sets in this video, but there are a lot more available. So if you want to see more, there's a link down below in the description. You can go and hit that link and find out all the other range of strings that the guys at Martin offer. There's something for everyone. It doesn't really matter what style of music you play or what type of acoustic guitar you play. There's something in that range that will suit you. I'd love to hear which set you guys love the most. So let me know down below in the comments what your favorite set of Martin strings was from this entire video. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And a big thank you to Martin for the loan of that incredible D18 guitar. It's been a dream of mine to own a Martin guitar for a long time. A loan is not quite owning it, but it's a step in the right direction. So a big thanks to Martin for allowing me to have some time with that guitar. It's just reinforced the fact that I really love a D18. So yeah, thank you guys for sending that out to me to check out for a few days as well. While you guys are down there, letting me know what you think about the strings and what your favorite sets are, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching as always.